my name is Alp. Uh, I'm from Turkey and I came to the IC for year 11. The IC soft landing gives international students an opportunity to be introduced to UK school life, which includes life in the UK, a boarding environment and um, academics. I came in thinking I was just going to get a few GCSEs and then go on to A-level. It was that simple in my mind. And what ended up happening was I discovered new interests, I met new people that I've made friendships with, and it added much more to my character than I thought it would add. It was good foundation for me. Matron is someone who's there to make sure you have the best time you can have here. She's there if you want to talk about something, she's there if you lose your shoe, she's there if you're feeling a bit ill. To, to someone who hasn't boarded before, I would say it's a lot less frightening than you might imagine or I imagined before coming here. There's always someone you can talk to. It just makes for a wonderful environment. Hi, my name is Elena. I'm from Moscow, Russia. I did my GCSEs at the IC and then I went off to do my A-levels in the senior school. Uh, when I was doing science at home, we didn't have those amazing opportunities and facilities that we have here. I think neuroscience is the most exciting field to study. You obviously have to show your passion and your knowledge for the subject, but my teachers helped me all the way through. To be a good science student, I think you need to be very committed to your work. You, have, you need to have passion for knowledge and confidence in yourself. Doing GCSE art was a bit of a contrast to doing sciences as it allowed me to be more creative and experiment with different media. Coming to the IC was the first time I'd gone to a boarding school. I was a bit scared but it became a second home for me. The relationships between teachers and students in England are so different comparing to my home country. Teachers here are very friendly. They are always around to help you with anything you need. The classes are half as big as the classes I had at home. Uh, that gives us um, a lot of personal attention from teachers. สวัสดีครับผู้ปกครองแล้วก็น้องๆทุกท่านนะครับวันนี้เรามาพบกันอีกครั้งนะครับในไลฟ์เซสชั่นของเจนนะครับสำหรับวันนี้เนี่ยเรามีโรงเรียนที่น่าสนใจมาแนะนำนะครับโดยเฉพาะอย่างยิ่งน้องๆที่เรียนอยู่ในระบบไทยนะครับหรือว่าน้องๆที่เรียนอยู่ในระบบอินเตอร์อยู่แล้วแต่อยากที่จะไปปรับตัวก่อนนะครับก็จะเป็นโรงเรียนที่ชื่อว่า King School Canterbury ซึ่งเป็น International College นะครับซึ่งจริงๆในส่วนของ King School เนี่ยเป็นโรงเรียนกรีกที่โรงเรียนที่อยู่ในอังกฤษที่เก่าแก่ที่สุดโรงเรียนหนึ่งนะครับในประเทศเลยนะครับแต่ตอนนี้เนี่ยเขามีการพัฒนาในส่วนของมาซัพพอร์ตในส่วนของนักเรียนอินเตอร์นะครับเขาก็จะมีการตั้งในส่วนของ international college ขึ้นมาซึ่งวันนี้เราได้รับเกียรติจากคุณเจมส์สตีเวนสันนะครับที่เป็น head of recruitment เข้ามาให้ข้อมูลเกี่ยวกับว่าเฮ้ยสำหรับเด็กอินเตอร์เนี่ยทำไมจะต้องไปเรียนที่ international college ก่อนเหมาะสำหรับใครแล้วก็มีโปรแกรมอะไรที่จะมาซัพพอร์ตให้กับน้องๆแล้วก็ทางผู้ปกครองบ้างนะครับเจมส์ good morning how are you Ah, good morning. Okay. Thank you for having me here. All right. Good. Good. All right. Uh, could you please introduce yourself a little bit, and then we can start the presentation. Then. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is James Stevenson. I'm the head of recruitment here at the King's School, Canterbury, and specifically our new and wonderful international college, which I'm here to speak to you about today. Um, you'll probably see from one of my first slides, but I have um, a lot of experience in the education industry, specifically in higher education and boarding, uh, UK boarding education here. Um, and I have uh, lived abroad. I've lived in China. I've uh, I've travelled to about 60 countries. Um, and I have a real understanding of different cultures and what is uh, really beneficial about our school for students from international destinations coming to study in the UK. And, and I hope to go over a little bit more of that during my presentation. Thank you, James. ก็สําหรับทางระหว่างทางนะครับที่คุณเจมส์พรีเซนต์เนี่ยผมก็จะให้เขาหยุดเป็นสักพักเป็นพักพักเนาะเพื่อที่จะแปลนะครับแต่ว่าก็อาจจะแปลได้ไม่ทั้งหมดครบถ้วนสมบูรณ์เนาะแต่จะแปลตัว key message ให้นะครับ James, maybe you can start sharing your screen right now. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank yes, you. Uh, 
here we go. I hope you can all see this. This is uh, the start of our presentation. Um, so welcome to the King's School Canterbury and our International College. Um, this is, uh, with me. Here we go. This is a, a, just a recap of what I've just gone through um, regarding myself um, uh, as the head of recruitment here at the school. Um, and this is a little bit about this school. So um, the King's School Canterbury is the oldest school in the UK and one of the oldest schools in the world. And it has an educational history dating back to uh, 597. Um, it's possibly one of the oldest schools uh, in, in Europe. Um, it's uh, definitely the oldest school here in the UK and it certainly looks like it. Um, we have some very, very old traditional buildings which are all uh, protected under UNESCO. Um, we currently educate pupils from age 3 to 18 in uh, three parts of the school. So our King Senior School, our Junior King School and our International College. And the International College is Canterbury's, in, in Canterbury is the latest member of our historic family and students are part of that history and receive an education that is equipping them for their future UK based education. Uh, at the King's School in general we have a long-standing tradition of internationalism. The school mostly sits within the precincts of Canterbury Cathedral, which is, I mentioned, a World Heritage Site and the centre of worship, pilgrimage and study, and hosts over a million visitors each year from many different cultures. And this international dimension of the school deeply influences the life of the city and of the school. Whilst we do have Christian traditions, uh, which remains at our heart, our pupils and staff comprise individuals of many different faiths and beliefs, and we embrace our diversity. Um, and there is a real desire to foster fairness, tolerance, courage and preservation and mutual respect. Um, and we certainly have a global community within our, our three schools here at King's. So Canterbury itself as a city, it's a very historical city. Um, the surrounding areas are steeped in history and heritage and it lies on the beautiful River Stour and it's home to Canterbury Cathedral, which is the mother church of the worldwide Anglican Communion and the seat of the Archbishop of Canterbury. The cathedral was a major focus, uh, focus of pilgrimage in the Middle Ages and continues to attract hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. Canterbury Cathedral, the ruins of St Augustine's Abbey and St Martin's Church together make up the city's UNESCO World Heritage Site and our King Senior School sits on the site of the cathedral. We also have uh, further historical attractions including an, um, a city wall founded in Roman times, a Norman castle and the reputedly oldest school in the world, the King's School Canterbury. Canterbury is a vibrant and exciting and well-connected city. Its location in the southeast of England allows for convenient transport links to London, Europe and the rest of the world. This is our location in Canterbury, as you can see in the very southeast of England, in what we call the Garden of England. Uh, we are the closest city to the continent and have very good connections through our Eurostar to Paris. And we have uh, the, or we host the uh, fastest train in the whole of the UK called HS1, which connects passengers via a train link directly into central London in less than one hour. This is a little bit of Canterbury. You can see our cathedral uh, in different times of the year on the left hand pictures and then our beautiful um, medieval looking uh, city with our beautiful river stour that runs through the city of Canterbury on those right hand pictures. Yes, may I stop you here so that I can summarize the entire little bit? Please do, yes. <coughs> okay, thank you. So, we have a king school in Canterbury. We have a king school in Canterbury. จริงๆเขาเขาเขาบอกว่าเป็นโรงเรียนที่เก่าแก่ที่สุดเนาะไม่ใช่โรงเรียนหนึ่งนะเป็นเก่าแก่ที่สุดเลยนะครับในปัจจุบันเนี่ยคิงสกูลเนี่ยก็คิงเนี่ยก่อตั้งในปี597เลยนะแล้วก็โรงเรียนเนี่ยจะแบ่งออกเป็น3ส่วนนะครับจะเป็นในส่วนของ Junior School Senior School แล้วก็ International College ซึ่งเป็นส่วนที่ใหม่ที่สุดสําหรับรองรับนักเรียนต่างชาตินะครับแล้วก็โรงเรียนคิงสกูลเนี่ยตั้งอยู่ที่เมือง Canterbury ซึ่งอยู่ทางทิศตะวันออกนะครับของจากกรุงลอนดอนห่างจากฮิทโรประมาณชั่วโมงครึ่งเท่านั้นเองนะครับสำหรับตัวเมืองเนี่ยเป็นเมืองที่มีความน่ารักนะครับแล้วก็มีเป็นเมืองที่มีความเก่าแก่มากๆนะครับมีสิ่งที่มีชื่อเสียงที่สุดในเมืองนี้ก็คือ Canterbury Cathedral นะครับก็เป็นเมืองที
มีสถาปัตยกรรมแล้วก็มีประวัติศาสตร์อันยาวนานนะครับแต่ในปัจจุบันเนี่ยก็เนื่องจากว่ามีมหาวิทยาลัยด้วยนะครับแล้วก็มีหลายๆโรงเรียนเพราะฉะนั้นทําให้เมืองนี้เป็นเมืองที่มีความน่ารักมีมีสีสันแล้วก็มีความน่าตื่นเต้นนะครับร้านอาหารห้างร้านสรรพสินค้าต่างๆครบถ้วนเพราะฉะนั้นถ้าน้องๆไปเรียนที่นี่เนี่ยก็ผมนิยามว่าโรงเรียนนี้ก็จะเป็นลักษณะของทาวน์สกูลหรือว่ากึ่งๆซิตี้สกูลด้วยนะครับก็ถือว่าเป็นโรงเรียนที่ไม่ได้อยู่ต่างจังหวัดนะครับแล้วก็สามารถที่จะเข้าสู่ลอนดอนได้ไม่ยากเลยนะครับถ้าดูจากภาพแล้วเนี่ยก็เป็นเมืองที่สวยงามจริงผมเคยไปในช่วงคริสต์มาสนะเป็นเมืองแบบเหมือนในหนังเลยนะครับพิมาตกเลยอะไรเงี้ยสวยงามมากนะครับเจมส์นัทชิลล์ thank you okay so I'm here to talk to you today about our King's School Country International College, and you can see a lovely photo of them um, of our campus here with our beautiful college, which is the orange building just in front of us. So this is our campus, and students at the International College enjoy what we call a soft landing into UK boarding education. Our students uh, will be part of the King's School family with its long-standing in international tradition. And our students will learn in purpose-built facilities designed by two different teams of top London architects. And um, actually, both the buildings on our site have recently won a number of independent uh, national um, REBA awards, which is the Royal Institute of British Architects. So our students are currently living and learning in two of the best buildings in the UK right now, which is fantastic. The students will um, have an innovative. Flexible curriculum, mixing our traditional education methods with modern technology. They'll have the opportunity to develop high-order learning, presentation, and research skills. They'll have the highest standards of pastoral care passed down from our traditional roots within our historical school, and they have full integration with our King's Senior School pupils during co-curricular activities and extracurricular activities and pursuits. They will leave us. With a personal graduation certificate of either GCSEs or IGCSEs, and a command of their English, which will enable them to access a full English-speaking curriculum in their future studies in the UK. So, a soft landing into UK boarding life for students, and you can see a little image there of of our very modern twin boarding rooms. We want to help international students to develop their academic and social English language. And other core academic skills in a very supportive context. Over one or two years, our students are able to gain key academic qualifications such as GCSEs, as well as uh, the necessary confidence and experience to make the most of their boarding experience. And at the school, um, we have our innovative curriculum and pedagogy. So our core themes are the learning and growing individual will be researching, communicating, and questioning. And we're not just a language school. Um, we are uh, uh, offering the same qualifications as going into a mainstream school, but we're teaching them in a very different way. And the philosophy behind the college is that the students will be helped to grow and to develop as rounded individuals within a supporting community, and they'll develop their English through a very exciting academic and co-curricular program, which comprises of research-based learning. Discussion-based lessons, critical thinking, personal and creative expression, as well as physical activity, and the teaching and learning that we do will be discussion-based, and that is also what we are trying to develop um, and adjust our students to within the college. In the UK, in general, we teach a very interactive curriculum, and we expect students to be part of that class, to be vocal, to debate, to be to question, to have conversations with other peers, with their teacher, to present. Um, and it's very daunting for students to come into mainstream UK education um, when they're not used to this style of education, and we are slowly adjusting them to this style of education. So our graduation certificates. Uh, the core subjects that our students study is is English, either as a first language or second language. Mathematics, and students do have the choice to do further mathematics as well. We have science. Um, in the UK, we teach what we call combined sciences, so a mixture of biology, chemistry, and physics uh, under the banner of science to the level of one GCSE, two GCSEs, or three GCSEs. And global perspectives is our other core subject. 
We then have elective subjects that students can choose to take, uh, such as art, computer science, business, economics, music, media studies, geography. Um, but we also uh, allow some students to do uh, language-based uh, GCSEs, which might not be traditionally timetabled, but they're able to have one-to-one -one sessions and then take an exam at the end of the year. And we have what we call the King's Benefits, which is our health and well-being, sports, activities, computing, uh, art, music and drama. So our academic courses. Um, our academic courses, we have three levels of intake. Our first intake is in year nine, so 13 to 14 year olds, which is a pre-GCSE, a preparation course for entry into a British curriculum school in year 10. We then have a, an entry in year 10, uh, which is a two year programme for students aged between 14 and 16. And uh, it combines IGCSE with preparation for studying A-levels or IB in years 12 and 13. We then have a very exclusive one-year GCSE programme in year 11 for students aged between 15 and 16, a preparation course for entry into A-level or IB schools in year 12 and 13, um, and uh, we will deliver IGCSEs or GCSEs de de depending on the subject. James, may I stop you here to summarise? Yes, thank you. All right, thank you. สำหรับที่คุณเจมส์พูดมานะครับจะเป็นการพูดถึงในส่วนของหลักสูตรนะครับที่ทางโรงเรียนจัดหาให้นะครับเขาจะใช้คอนเซ็ปต์ว่าเป็น soft landing to the UK education ก็คือมันเป็นการเตรียมความพร้อมให้กับเด็กๆเ,เนาะเพราะบางทีเด็กๆจากโรงเรียนไทยที่เรียนในหลักสูตรไทยเนี่ยเพื่อเข้าไปเรียนในโรงเรียนที่อังกฤษเนี่ยมันจะต้องมีการปรับตัวทั้งทางด้านวิชาการแล้วก็ทางด้านด้านในเรื่องของการใช้ชีวิตในประจําวันในการที่จะเป็นนักเรียนประจำนะครับเพราะนั้นการที่ไปปรับตัวอยู่ในโรงเรียน international college ตรงนี้มันจะเป็นการปรับตัวในทุกๆรูปแบบเลยนะครับโรงเรียน international college เนี่ยไม่ใช่โรงเรียนที่เป็นโรงเรียนที่สอนวิชาอังกฤษนะแต่เป็นโรงเรียนที่สอนวิชาการแล้วก็สามารถให้ qualification ในส่วนของ GCSE ได้ด้วยนะครับโดยตึกเรียนอาคารเรียนเนี่ยถูกออกแบบมาโดยเฉพาะสําหรับการเรียนหนังสือนะครับโดยชาวลอนดอนนะครับแล้วก็ได้รับการชื่นชมอย่างมากในลักษณะของอความสวยงามของสถาปัตยกรรมนะครับรวมถึงในส่วนของหลักสูตรเนี่ยนอกเหนือจากวิชาการที่จะเป็นสอนเป็นเลคเชอร์เบสแล้วเนี่ยทางเขาเนี่ยจะเน้นเรื่องของพรีเซนเทชันเรื่องของการคอมมิวนิเคชันคริสเชนนิ่งนะครับคริติคอลทิงกิ้งนะครับรวมถึงฟิสิกอลแอคทิวิตี้ที่นอกเหนือจากการเรียนด้วยนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยสกิลต่างๆเหล่านี้มันจะถูกใช้นะครับในการเรียนการสอนในเมืองนอกนะครับตั้งแต่ระดับมัธยมไปจนถึงระดับมหาวิทยาลัยเลยนะครับแล้วก็เด็กๆจะเรียนที่นี่ที่นี่นะฮะแล้วแต่นะครับว่าจะเข้าเยียร์ไหนโดยปกติเขาจะรับแค่3ามเยียร์ก็คือเยียร์เก้าสิบสิบเอ็ดนะครับสำหรับเยียร์เก้านี่ก็จะเป็น pre IGCSE นะครับเยียร์สิเนี่ยจะเป็น GCSE two years นะครับถ้าใครเข้าเยียร์สิบที่นี่ก็คือเรียน2ปีเนาะแล้วก็ถ้าใครเข้าเยียร์สิบเอ็ดเนี่ยก็จะเป็น pre level หรือ pre IB นะครับโดยวิชาเรียนเนี่ยเขาแบ่งออกเป็น2ส่วนจะเป็น core ก็คือตัววิชาบังคับกับวิชาเลือกนะครับวิชาหลักเนี่ยจะเป็น English first language หรือ ESL นะครับตัวแรก Math Science 3ตัวนะครับแต่อาจจะเลือกเรียนเป็น Single Combine d o u b l e Combine หรือว่าเป็น Triple Combine ก็ได้ขึ้นอยู่กับความต้องการว่าจะใช้สาขาวิชาวิทยาศาสตร์ในการเรียนต่อ A-Level หรือต่อในมหาวิทยาลัยหรือไม่นะครับรวมถึงในส่วนของ Global Perspective ซึ่งในวิชาเหล่านี้จะเป็นวิชาหลักนะครับส่วนวิชาเลือกเนี่ยเขาก็จะมีต่างๆมากมายไม่ว่าจะเป็น Business Econ หรืออะไรต่างๆเหล่านี้ก็สามารถเลือกได้นะครับรวมถึงเป็นรวมถึงเบนฟิตต่างๆนะครับก็จะมีเช่นเดียวกันนะครับไม่ว่าจะเป็นในเรื่องของกีฬาแอคทิวิตี้แอคทิวิตี้ต่างๆคอมพิวเตอร์หรือฟอสซิลิตี้ต่างๆเนี่ยมีพร้อมเสร็จสับครบถ้วนหมดเลยนะครับโอเคเดี๋ยวเราไปต่อกันในส่วนของเวลแฟร์ของทางเวนนะครับเชมส์ back to you thank you very much Seth so one thing may I ask one quick question of course what um When when you're talking about academic, and um, may I ask why the international students choose study in the international college rather than study in the right way at the traditional boarding schools? Yeah, of course, uh, and it's an important question. And I think you know there is a lot of desire for students to go directly into uh, mainstream boarding with with the the you know UK students, but actually that is that is not the best. Decision for every student, um, and students can, in that environment, find it very difficult to progress, especially if they've not been involved in UK boarding before. Um, and there is a number of barriers to education, such as uh, academic English being one of them. You know, students can have strong 
uh, spoken English and understanding of English, but actually in a, a science biology class, for example, um, the uh, terminology uh, that is used to and the language that is used in that academic context um, might not be um, uh, appropriate for that international student who hasn't ha have a command of that that side of their English. Um, and in a, in a native English lesson with much larger classes and um, that those students can find it very difficult to progress and we, we believe that over the course of one or two years within our international college in our much smaller classes maximum class sizes of 12 on average around eight students per class our students are able to progress very very quickly um, so it really depends on the student as to which type of education that they they would prefer to go into the way that i like to put it is that within our international college the students get really the best of both worlds because they have a very uh, small classes in a focused environment um, on their specific needs as a student in terms of their academic learning but they are fully integrated with the wider King's School the oldest school in the world um, uh, and with all of the UK students for everything outside of the classroom so co-curricular sports games music drama theatre and so on and um, so our students really get the best of both worlds for their their learning and their experience at a school School. and over the, over the course of one or two years they're then in a position to progress into a top school for A-levels making the, the most of their UK experience and making the most uh, and making giving them themselves the best chance of success to get into a top UK university. Thank you James. So I'm going to ask him to ask him why some children who have been in the United States and have been in the United States or why some children have why do you have to go to this university in the International College? James said that it's like an induction, 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 การใช้ชีวิตประจําวันอย่างที่ผมเคยเกริ่นไปก่อนนะครับแล้วก็มันจะทําให้การที่ stepping stone ในการเรียนต่อนะในอนาคตเนี่ยมันจะเป็นไปได้ง่ายขึ้นนะครับเนื่องจากว่าการเรียนของที่ International College ที่ King's School Canterbury เนี่ย International College เนี่ยจะคลาสเรียนค่อนข้างเล็กนะครับพอคลาสเรียนเล็กเนี่ยทำให้เด็กค่อนข้างโฟกัสและเด็กทุกคนเป็นนักเรียนต่างชาติหมดในคลาสเนี่ยทำให้เด็กมีความมีความค่อนข้างมั่นใจมากขึ้นรวมถึงคุณครูเองก็มีความเชี่ยวชาญในการสอนนักเรียนต่างชาติโดยเฉพาะนะครับเพราะถ้าไปเรียนในคลาสจริงของเรียนเมนสกูลเนี่ยคุณครูเขาอาจจะไม่ได้มารอเรานะเพราะว่าเด็กคนอื่นๆก็เป็นเด็กอังกฤษเนาะถ้าเขาสอนช้าเด็กอังกฤษก็อาจจะรู้สึกเบื่ออะไรเงี้ยแต่ว่าตรงเนี้ยมันเป็นในส่วนของการสร้างความมั่นใจสร้างฐานความรู้นะครับแล้วก็สร้างการปรับตัวของเด็กได้ดีมากๆเลยนะครับนอกจากนั้นเนี่ยบางทีผู้ครองอาจจะกังวลว่าแบบเอ้ยทำไมเรียนแต่เด็กอินเตอร์แต่จริงแล้วในน้องเหนือจะคลาสเรียนเนี่ยก็จะเป็น fully integrated กับกับตัวนักเรียนของ Kings Men School ด้วยไม่ว่าจะเป็น activities ต่างๆนะครับโอเค James please move on thank you Okay, so just a quick slide on pastoral care, which is obviously very important uh, as, as a school, and it's very important to the parents that, that of, of our students. And um, we have more experience than any other school in looking after our borders, being being the oldest school in the UK. Um, and we have drawn upon our King's School uh, expertise, and we make full use of its best practices and facilities for care, mental as well as physical. And all of this uh, is now prominent in our international college. Um, the college has its own residential staff dedicated to student well-being and all of our teachers uh, have pastoral responsibilities and we have a very high ratio of uh, staff to students. Um, and the curriculum focuses uh, upon the 21st century teenager, so we are fully equipped to deal with any issues that would arise. So recreation and sports. So uh, the International College is in very close proximity to the King's facilities. We also have our own sports hall on campus, uh, which is our uh, traditional fencing facility. Uh, and students have use of that in their free time. But just a couple of minutes walk away from the college campus. We have the facilities that you can see here in the in the photos. Our Burley's Fields for all of our outdoor um, uh, sporting facilities. And then our recreation centre with our swimming pool, a uh, huge sports hall for badminton and basketball and cricket, indoor cricket. We have um, two fitness suites, uh, as well as four squash courts um, and a range of facilities that students can use during their co-curricular, timetabled hours or in their free time. So during co-curricular, which traditionally is, is uh, three days, three afternoons a week, which is Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, this has changed slightly due to, due to COVID bubbles and so on. Um, uh, but traditionally, it's those afternoons in a week and our students are fully integrated with the wider 
King's senior school students and have all of the same opportunities that they do to take part in um, their sporting interests uh, and get part, get involved in school teams and play in matches uh, should they wish to and sh or should they be selected to. This is also the same for uh, music, which is part of our co-curricular as well. And, and we have our own music facilities in the International College, but students are able to um, take part if they are strong enough in uh, and they have opportunities to join the King's Orchestra and choral groups um, within our cathedral. And we have a very rich history as the King's School in terms of music and performances. Uh, but in the International College, we have our own practice rooms, uh, which are partially soundproofed. We have our own music tuition um, and we have areas for performance, as well as an entire uh, music room dedicated to music production with Apple computers and the Logic app uh, for students to be able to do that. And that's actually part of our GCSE. So the International College, I mentioned the two the two buildings, um, both of them built and designed by top London architects. Um, our International College is a purpose built teaching and accommodation music comprising a boarding for around 80 students in double bedrooms so twi or twin rooms with ensuite facilities. We then have a residential housemaster or mistress, a deputy and a matron who are living on site separate dedicated study areas. We have fully equipped classrooms for between 10 and 12 uh, students maximum per class. We have music practice rooms, social areas and a central courtyard for students to um, uh, use in, in the summertime. And then our historic Mort House has been fully redesigned and refurbished for classrooms, dining and the performing arts. We have a 350 seat theatre, which is shared with all of the King's School um, uh, sections. We have two drama and dance studios. We have two multi-purpose drama teaching rooms. We have a kitchen and dining facility for our students. We have two science labs and an art and photography teaching area as well. James, may I stop here? Uh, may I ask, uh, normally, for example, like uh, the meals, maybe breakfast, lunch and dinner, do they have the meals all together with the King Main School or at their own body houses? Sometimes. So um, we have uh, the, the King King's School in general has a number of different um, uh, facilities for dining um, uh, and it will depend on the location. So the King's School Canterbury is the oldest school in the world and all of its buildings are protected under UNESCO. So we cannot uh, change or build it. So we have lots of different facilities all over Canterbury. So not all of the boarding houses are actually in the senior school main site next to the cathedral. We have some at St, St. Augustine's Abbey. Um, and so they have their own dining facilities there. And the International College has their own dining facilities on our campus as well. But they are often shared with um, some of the senior school students who are using the, um, specifically for lunch, who are using the facilities for drama and theatre. But uh, specifically for breakfast and dinner, it's uh, the International College students have their own dining facilities on campus. Sure. And one thing that you mentioned about the co-curricular activities uh, and also the sports, for example, if the if you are the, the students of the International College, you can join the sports team of the King's Men's School as well and be the rep. That's correct. Or... Yes. Okay. They, right. are, they, are, nice. they are taking part as part of our curriculum with all of the King's School students in all sports and games and activities regardless. They then have the option to, to, to try, try out for the school team if they're strong enough in their, in their chosen um, uh, activity. So yes, there are ample amounts of opportunities for um, them to be part of uh, activities with the British students and the, and the senior school students but also they have all of the same opportunities that our King's School students have. Uh, we are part of the, the King's School and um, you know, they are a King's School student whilst they're studying in the International College. Mm, interesting. Including like um, the performance or the, co the co uh, choir team or the, uh, at the church or something like that. Right. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. And they Everything. have the, all, of, all of those opportunities, everything outside of the classroom, they have the same opportunities as, as the senior school students. And of course, you know, we can't guarantee that a student will get onto a sports team or, or, you know, be part of the orchestra. They would have to show a certain talent and they would have to try out for those uh, op opportunities, but they still have those opportunities, yes. Okay, thank you. So everything else except the classroom that uh, is separate. With uh, only correct. ten yeah. students so, maximum, so they mm -hmm. they live in the in the international college and they're traditionally taught there, but they then fully mix for everything outside of the classroom. Sure. All right. Let me summarize a little bit. ก็สำหรับโรงเรียนนะครับได้มีพูดถึงเรื่องของ pastoral care ก็คือการดูแลนะก็ในส่วนของการ
พักเนี่ยมอสติงเฮาส์เนี่ยก็จะแยกโดยชัดเจนเพราะว่าเป็นหอพักที่ใหม่เลยนะครับที่ที่สร้างใหม่ขึ้นมานะครับแล้วก็มีคุณครูคอยดูแลแล้วก็ที่สําคัญนะพักห้องหนึ่งสองคนเองแล้วก็เป็นองสวีทด้วยนะครับก็จะหาได้ค่อนข้างยากนะกับโรงเรียนประจําที่จะมีองสวีทนะครับในส่วนของกีฬาแล้วก็กิจกรรมต่างๆนะครับเด็กๆของ International College ของ Kings เนี่ยจะทำร่วมกับเด็ก Kings Main School เลยนะครับเพราะนั้นไม่ว่าจะเป็นทีมกีฬาไม่ว่าจะเป็นการแสดงไม่ว่าการแสดงดนตรีหรือว่าการร่วมวงออเคสตราของของทางโรงเรียนต่างๆเหล่านี้ก็จะทำกิจกรรมร่วมกับเด็ก Kings Main School เลยนะครับซึ่งก็เป็นโอกาสที่ดีกับน้องๆนะได้คุ้นชินเผื่อว่าอีกหน่อยไปต่อยอดก็สามารถเข้า King Main ได้ด้วยนะครับแล้วก็ในส่วนของโรงเรียนนะครับของ International College เนี่ยเขาจะรับนักเรียนทั้งสิ้น80คนนะครับแล้วก็มี Facility ต่างๆครบถ้วนนะครับอย่างที่ทางคุณเจมส์เซกราไปแล้วก็รวมถึงมี350เทียเดอร์ที่นั่ง300ที่นั่งสำหรับห้องเทียเดอร์นะครับแล้วก็2ห้อง Dance Studio นะครับก็พูดง่ายๆว่ามีน้องเหนือจากการเรียนแล้วอะ่ะน้องเหนือจากห้องเรียนแล้วอะ่ะกิจกรรมต่างๆเนี่ยใช้ฟัสซิลิตี้ของทาง Kings Main ด้วยแล้วก็มีฟัสซิลิตี้ของตัวเองด้วยนะครับเพราะนั้นเนี่ยค่อนข้างพร้อมเสร็จเสร็จเบ็ดเสร็จเสร็จสับหมดเลยนะครับเพราะนั้นไม่ต้องกังวลเลยนะครับ alright next please thank you okay so now we get to the fun part where I can show you some photos and images of the school and as I showed you this in one of our first slides it's the campus of our international college which is um, was built in 2018 So this is the International College building where we have our modern classrooms on the ground floor and the students live on the first and second floor in those twin accommodation rooms. And this is in the middle of that building, the central courtyard, um, which students have access to in their free time. Uh, they can cut across there for different lessons. They can use it in the summer. They will use it and have tables and chairs out there for working time, especially on a, a lovely day like this in, in the photo. Um, and we also have performances out here um, on that bandstand. We, we tend to do one performance in the summer every year of, of uh, some form of theatre or, or several music performances. Actually, we've seen in the past. We have a, a band and a ukulele club uh, who often perform um, uh, throughout the summer. Um, and then the boarding is on the first and second floors. Um, and this is an example of our teaching room. Um, so with the modern technology in the 21st century to be able to teach our students. And as I mentioned, our, our classes are no more than 12 students maximum per class, on average around eight students per class. It's very high quality, bespoke and focused education. And this is an example of one of our teaching rooms. And here's some more examples of teaching rooms. So the top left-hand corner is our music production suite, uh, where students are learning to produce their own music on the Logic app on the Apple computers. And then we have our science labs on the right-hand side, which are specifically built for practicals. Uh, wherever we can do a practical in science, we will be able to do that. And on the bottom left, we have our wonderful art studio, um, which is a very creative uh, space. And with, with art, it's very much a case of uh, you know, what the student wants to do. You know, if the student wants to do a certain style or theme, um, or they want a certain uh, equipment or supplies that we can't, that we don't have, we will source that for them. So it's really a case of whatever the student wants to do, they need to be vocal with us and we'll try and support them as best we can um, within those classes. And this is our common room where our students hang out. We have television and lots of games, uh, board games. We have the wonderful table, football table that you see myself there losing to more students uh, as, as per usual. Um, and actually behind uh, where this photo was taken, the students have their own little kitchen area as well. And there's a supermarket just a couple of minutes walk away from the school where lots of them will use their pocket money. And um, so they do get their, their meals all included uh, as part of their fees, but they also have their own kitchen area if they want to, you know, uh, bake some cakes or uh, make a cup of tea or they have any food that's sort of home comforts and they're able to do that in their free time. This is our wonderful breakout zone where we have ingenious sliding whiteboards uh, that can separate the uh, area to a private area. Um, it's a very comfortable reading space and working space. We might actually, as you can see, there's actually a lesson going on there uh, in this photo. And we will often send students out to use this very interactive space and, and work together as groups and then come back into the classroom to present their work. So we have lots of different areas like this in the school uh, that are designed for student creativity uh, and for students to uh, socialize within a working context. Um, uh, before they return to the classroom. And here's an example of our um, 
uh, boarding facilities. So all of our rooms are twin rooms with ensuite bathroom and shower facilities. So all of our students will share with only one other student. Um, and then they have a private bathroom between the two students there, which is which is more hotel like than I think you would you would uh, find at uh, other boarding schools. And here's an example of it being used with a couple of our students. Up in the boarding house, we also have space for students to work um, in the hallways, but also in our study rooms that you can see. Uh, this can be used in free time and also prep. And then on our campus as well, we have three outdoor table tennis tables um, and a, a wonderful purpose-built sports hall. This is um, in free time for sole use of our international college students and they have the key to the cupboard at the bottom and they can play football and badminton and table tennis and basketball and volleyball and they have fitness equipment, they have indoor cricket equipment, they can they can get together in evenings and weekends in their free time to, to use this as they would um, uh, with their friends. Uh, during timetabled hours, co-curricular hours, it is a specific fencing facility and um, you'll see the big long blue strips which are our eight professional um, fencing um, uh, uh, pieces, and uh, I'm told that this is the second best fencing facility in the whole of Europe. We also have 18 electrical scoreboards that uh, um, so during co-curricular we can actually get around 60 to 65 students um, fencing in here in one co-curricular afternoon. Outside we also have a um, all-weather um, pitch which is for basketball and football and for fitness and then in our wonderful Malt House building this is where our dining facilities are which you can see here uh, and everything is buffet we provide cuisines from all over the world every, there's three to four different options for every meal time uh, we can cater to every possible dietary requirement we do requests and we do lots of themed um, activity lunches and evenings so we've had african week and we do things over the lunar new year and um, specifically around food we'll do uh, Scottish food around Burns night in January and Mr Pryor our principal is Scottish so he gets very into that so uh, the food is is phenomenal it's it's incredible we've never had any complaints with our food and, and usually students are going back for seconds um, and we do take requests so if a student is feeling a little bit homesick and they want some food from from their hometown uh, they can come and request that to the chef and, and they'll either do something specifically for the student or they'll do it for all the students uh, in within the next couple of weeks so um, it's um, it's a very inclusive dining hall in, in respect of eating together and the cuisines that we have together as well. James, may I ask for a quick question? Um, in terms yeah. of the, the, the meals for breakfast, is it a hot breakfast or which kind of breakfast is it? But both. They'll have all the options. They'll have the options of a hot meal and the options of cereal, the options of toast, you know, whatever, whatever. They might. There's even sort of, you know, noodles and, and that sort of thing as well. Okay, and lunches and dinner is a kind of buffet style. So it means that they can eat Every, whatever everything. they want. Everything, breakfast, lunch and dinner, they're all buffet and there's always three to four different options at least mm. um, for every meal time. And they have more if they, are not, if, if they are still hungry because the kids normally act like this. For example, Absolutely, they, they go yeah, for the yeah. first round already and then can they go for second round, third round or something like that? If they want to, yes, of course they can. Oh, nice. All right. Lovely. Cool. Thank you. <coughs> okay. So this is the Morehouse building. This is where our canteen is, which is about 150 years old. And we have um, uh, renovated it to give us modern facilities for our students. So inside we have our wonderful uh, King's drama development with our theatre and our dance and drama studios that you can see here on the left hand side. All right. Uh, James, before you move on to the progression, may I summarize yeah. a little bit? Uh, Please okay. do, yeah. อ่าจริงๆผมในส่วนตรงเนี้ยผมอาจจะไม่ต้องจําเป็นต้องอธิบายมากเนาะเพราะว่าส่วนใหญ่จะเป็นส่วนของรูปภาพนะครับซึ่
มีความเบลนเดอร์ระหว่างความทันสมัยนะครับเรารวมถึงอย่างเทเดอร์เนี่ยเป็นตึกเก่าที่เขาเอามารีโนเวทใหม่นะครับเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยน้องจะได้กลิ่นอายของความเป็นอังกฤษจริงๆที่ที่เก่าแก่มากๆแล้วก็ในขณะเดียวกันส่วนที่เราใช้ชีวิตในประจําวันเนี่ยมันก็จะเป็นส่วนที่ค่อนข้างใหม่และทันสมัยไม่ว่าจะเป็นในส่วนของห้องเรียนเกมรูมนะครับสปอร์ตซอลต่างๆรวมถึงห้องห้องนอนนะครับซึ่งถือว่าใหม่เอี่ยมทีเดียวเลยนะครับโอเคเดี๋ยวคุณเจมส์จะพูดถึงการ progression ในการเรียนต่อนะครับหลังจากจบการศึกษาไปนะครับเจมส์ please Thank you. So progression to top schools, and this is, you know, one of the reasons why the students are coming to the international college. And we have a large number of alumni now who have gone on to complete their education at top schools in the UK. With experience and the qualifications that they've gained at the college, they're able to make a real success of the remainder of their schooling in the UK in preparation for their higher education in the future. And this model that we have at the college is working very well, as you can see here from our our. Progression rates. Um, so, our past alumni um, progressed to uh, a number of of top schools, including Badminton, Brighton, Cardiff Sixth Form, Charterhouse, Highgate, St Paul's, Lancing, Gordonstow, Dulwich College, and many, many more. And you'll be able to find a list of our progression rates on our website. And um, but that we're actually also progressing around 50% of our students over the last two years to the King's School, Canterbury Sixth Form, which is a very, very competitive school. Um, and that really shows the quality of the education we have in the international college. But we've also, from our first cohort in 2018, um, got alumni in a number of top universities in the UK as well, including Oxford and Cambridge, Imperial, St Andrews, Warwick, Edinburgh, Edinburgh Durham, and we have a student in Duke University in the USA as well. So um, the model of preparing our students in the best possible way for their next stage of education, which is their A levels. Um, and giving them the best chance of success with their A levels to then get into a top university is working very well. We have some excellent results academically, but also the results that we see in terms of personality and social development within the school are exceptional. Um, and you can see that here with our progression to top schools. James, so uh, one thing that I'm just curious is that um, for the Kings. King's men for for example, if they finish the at the King I S uh, International College already, you mean you touch a little bit that fifty uh, percent of the cohort move to the main school. Is that correct? Or I am that's, wrong? That's, that that has been our percentage over the last two years. Yes, the last two years. Mm, interesting. Okay, but it's not obviously guaranteed. That's just what our students have been achieving. Sure. All right. และมี summarize a little bit over here สำหรับผลของการเรียนที่ King I, I International College เนี่ยนะครับก็ทำให้เด็กๆนักเรียนเนี่ยสามารถที่จะเข้าไปเรียนในโรงเรียนชั้นนำได้นะครับอย่างที่โชว์ให้เห็นไม่ว่าจะเป็นอย่าง Badminton School Brighton College หรือ Dulwich หรือว่าพวกนี้นะครับซึ่งเป็นโรงเรียนชั้นนำทั้งนั้นเลยนะครับนอกจากนั้นเนี่ยก็ยังมีจาก2ปีที่ผ่านมาเนี่ยนักเรียนทั้ง2รุ่นเนี่ยสามารถที่จะเข้า King's m a n ได้ประมาณ 50% เลยนะก็ถือว่าเป็นอัตราส่วนที่ดีมากแต่ว่า Kingsman เนี่ยไม่ได้การันตีว่าจะเข้าได้ครับน้องก็ต้องสอบเหมือนเด็กทั่วไปแต่ว่าความคุ้นชินหรืออะไรต่างเหล่านี้มันทําให้เขามีโอกาสได้อาจจะเข้า Kingsman ได้ง่ายขึ้นโดยเปรียบเทียบกับเด็กที่ไม่ได้เคยไปอยู่ที่นั่นมาก่อนนะครับรวมถึงในอดีตเนี่ยสองรุ่นที่ผ่านมาเนี่ยนักเรียนก็สามารถที่จะจบการศึกษาแล้วก็เข้าต่อมหาวิทยาลัยนะครับไม่ว่าจะเป็น Oxford Cambridge Imperial นะครับ UCL หรือว่ามหาวิทยาลัยกลุ่ม Russell รวมถึง Duke University in, 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 ในในประเทศสหรัฐอเมริกาด้วยนะครับ Okay, James. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, so um, we've actually seen some of these testimonial videos already. So I'm going to skip this next section. Okay, we've seen Alina. Uh, we haven't actually seen Doya Lee. This is one of our students from China, who came to us for the uh, one-year GCC program in year 11, achieving nine A stars in one year, and getting an offer to the King Senior School Sixth Form. And she's now been made an offer to Oxford. So I'll just show you this one because we didn't see this. Um, before the presentation. My name is Doya. I come from Shanghai, China. I came here for the Year 11 program at the International College. I think the first big difference that I noticed was the size of a class. It's much more individually focused. All my teachers have been really supportive. I wouldn't have chosen an English A-level course if I didn't do a one-year program here. It also just builds up your confidence as a international student. After having done my GCSE program, I went to King's Sixth Form. 
this July, I'm going to move on to Oxford for French language courses. My advice for international students coming to the UK would be to really make the most out of your experience. Try new things and really enjoy a different culture. There's a lot of fantastic opportunities right around you. Okay, so that was uh, Doya. This is output we've already seen, so I'm just going to skip it. Uh, but we haven't seen our King's uh, International College video, and I'd really like to show you this, and it gives you a real idea of the quality of education and the type of education we're offering. So I hope you enjoy this. Joe and I were an international family ourselves. We've lived abroad and we've worked abroad and we're linguists and we know what it is to face cultural adaptation and we like working with international students. We allow them to settle into UK boarding life academically and socially. King's Canterbury International College is for international students from 13 to 16 years old. They come to us to develop their English skills and also get used to boarding life in the UK. In Year 9 we offer a one-year course which equips our students with the skills that they need to make a success of GCSEs, either at the King's School or at another school. Over the course of years 10 and 11 we offer a two-year GCSE course and in Year 11 we have a special one-year GCSE programme. Students are taught exclusively at the college, but for social activities they integrate with the King's School Canterbury. It's got a thousand year long history. And a long tradition of co-curricular and academic excellence. It's great for us to live and learn in a purpose-built building. Modern facilities, classrooms that are fully equipped with all the technology that you need to deliver a 21st century education. The college building itself has classrooms on the ground floor and residential areas on the first and second floor, one floor for the boys and another floor for the girls. We also have some classrooms in the historic Malt House. The Malt House is a state-of-the-art facility with a large theatre with an auditorium and dance and drama studios and that's also where we eat. So Joe and I actually have breakfast, lunch and supper with the students there together. And of course we're also on the doorstep of the Recreation Centre and our students are able to use that in their free time. Canterbury is a beautiful and historic city and it's got a diverse international student community. It has two universities. We're fortunate to have the fastest train in the country here linking us into central London in 55 minutes. And we're also the closest city to the continent. We really believe that what allows students to make a success of their academic careers is developing their academic English, not just their social English. That's why having tutors in house in the evenings is very important because it's those conversations with teachers which allow them to succeed in the future. And I would say that our students over the course of one or two years really get ready to make a success of their British boarding school education. Okay, and that is our school video and I hope that really gives you an insight into everything I've been talking about during this presentation and, and the real quality that we have here at the King's International College. Um, just a, a brief conversation about our admissions process. So on initial inquiry, um, students would need to uh, then register and pay our registration fee of £150. They take an electronic test or an online test of maths and English. Um, we then do a Skype interview with our school principals, Mr and Mrs Pryor, who you just saw on the video. And we will ask for current school reports and a reference from um, their current school. Once we've then offered a place and, and the students are looking to accept the place, they would need to pay um, our deposits as well. Um, and our standard deposit is £2,000, which is the acceptance deposit. Um, and then we will also ask for a fee deposit of uh, £14,855. Um, the fees um, are currently uh, £14,855, so just a little under £45,000 for the academic year. And any inquiries, you would be more than welcome to get in touch with myself directly or our international administrator, Alison Kelly, um, and also direct any questions um, or inquiries to our representatives in Thailand um, at Ghent Education. 
thank you very much for listening. Thank you, James. Uh, I've got a um, uh, quick questions, um, a, a few more questions. The first thing is that um, can the students go to the town center by themselves during the weekday or weekends? And what yes, are they, they going to do during they... the weekend? Yep. They are on a timetable, a routine timetable. So you know, during their timetable um, lesson time and, and uh, co-curricular time, then no, they'll be bound by that timetable. But in their free time, at various times in the week, maybe after lunch, before co-curricular starts, or in the uh, uh, afternoons um, when they haven't got any lessons, uh, specifically at weekends on a Sunday when they they have free time, then yes, they absolutely can. Year nines and tens will will go. They won't be able to go on their own, but they can certainly go in groups. Uh, it's all monitored by our matrons, and they must take their phone and sign in and out, and the matron must know where they are. Um, and the year elevens can go on their own because um, they are a little bit older, a little bit more mature. But again, they do still need to sign in and out and take their phone with them and we must know where they are. James, what do they normally do, do during Saturday or Sunday? You you don't have the class on Saturday, right? Yes, we do have classes on Saturday. So they'll mm -hmm. be on in classes six days a week, uh, Monday to Saturday. Saturday is a little bit more relaxed. They do a few lessons in the morning and then they have co-curricular afternoons, so games in the afternoons with the other senior school students. And Saturday is also the day if they're on a sports team where they would participate in matches against other other schools. Yeah. Um, and uh, Sunday is then a free day. But but Saturday evening they don't have prep and homework time either. So from from sort of four o'clock onwards on a Saturday afternoon they have free time, uh, and then the whole of Sunday is free. And we often put on excursions for the students uh, on, on Sunday. So whether that's taking them to a castle or the beach or a London museum or a theme park or the cinema, or whatever it might be. So there's often lots of things going on and they don't have to participate in that if they don't want to. But that's all part of, of what we offer here as a school. Or even can they go to London by themselves? I mean, or as a group, do they have to sign in or sign out? We, we would need permission from their UK based guardians. So we would have to have further, it would have to be well organized um, and we would need certain permissions. It's, it's not impossible, uh, but it's quite a lot of work to be able to get, you know, to communicate with a, a large number of, you know, guardians in, in um, uh, from different countries and whoever it might be. So it's not impossible, but it's, it's rare that it would, that would happen. But there's lots and lots of uh, things that they can do in and around Canterbury and, and things that we put on for them anyway. All right, James. Uh, I have a few more questions, but I would like to summarize uh, what I, I've sure. just talked to you first. Okay. สำหรับอันนี้เป็นการพิเศษของเจมส์นะครับแล้วก็ผมได้ถามเขาเพิ่มเติมนะถามเผื่อเด็กๆเนาะว่าบางทีน้องๆไปอยู่โรงเรียนประจำเนี่ยสามารถที่จะเดินออกนอกโรงเรียนได้ไหมซึ่งข้อดีของการที่เป็นเป็นทาวน์สกูลนะครับน้องๆสามารถที่จะไปออกนอกออกออกไปนอกโรงเรียนได้ในช่วงของเวลาว่างนะครับแต่ว่าถ้าเป็นเยียร์เล็กก็คือเยียร์เก้าเยียร์สิบเนี่ยจะต้องไปเป็นกรุ๊ปนะครับแล้วก็ต้องไซน์อินไซน์เอาท์นะครับเราก็จะต้องคอยรับโทรศัพท์ของของเจ้าหน้าที่หอพักที่คอยดูแลนะครับส่วนกรณีเยสเปเนี่ยสามารถที่จะไปได้นะครับแต่ก็ต้องมีการไซน์อินไซน์เอาท์เช่นเดียวกันเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยไม่ต้องกังวลนะครับสำหรับผู้ปกครองในขณะที่น้องๆเองก็ไม่ต้องกังวลเหมือนกันว่าจะต้องอยู่แต่ในโรงเรียนนะครับแล้วก็ที่โรงเรียนคิงส์เนี่ยเป็นสไตล์เก่าหน่อยนิดนึงนะครับแต่ละโรงเรียนยังใช้ระบบนี้อยู่ก็คือเรียนวันจันทร์ถึงวันเสาร์เช้านะครับส่วนวันเสาร์บ่ายเนี่ยจะเป็นลักษณะของการแข่งกีฬานะครับการทำแอคทิวิตี้ต่างๆรวมถึงการแข่งกีฬาระหว่างโรงเรียนด้วยถ้าใครอยู่ในทีมกีฬาโรงเรียนนะครับแต่จะถึงแค่4ี่โมงแล้วก็จะไม่ได้มีเพรสทานเพราะฉะนั้นหลังจาก4ี่โมงเนี่ยน้องๆสามารถที่จะเข้าไปในทาวน์เซ็นเตอร์ของเมืองแคนเทอร์เบรได้นะครับผมแอบถามว่าเฮ้ยถ้าถ้าเด็กๆอยากที่จะไปวันเสาร์หรือวันอาทิตย์เนี่ยว่างทั้งวันเนี่ยอยากจะไปเข้าลอนดอนหรืออะไรต่างๆได้ไหมเขาบอกว่าจริงๆมันก็ไม่ใช่ไม่ได้นะแต่ว่ามันก็จะต้องมี process บ้างนะครับก็คือจะต้องมีการเซ็นอ,อนุมัติโดยทางการเรียนหรือทางผู้ปกครองอะไรแบบนี้นะครับแล้วก็เดี๋ยวผมจะถามเขาเรื่องจำนวนนักเรียนไทยเนาะเดี๋ยวถามกันนิดนึง James from your experience how how about Thai students from uh, graduated from from the international college have they done well or what do you think Yes, they've done well, and uh, from my from my previous experience with our our Thai students, they've progressed to um, top schools for A levels, and, and which is where they are still now. So uh, we've had Thai students in the last couple of years, um, and we have a Thai student who was with us last year, who um, was in our year nine, and he's decided to stay with us for a further two years because he's. 
progressing really, really well with us and his academic English has developed incredibly well. He was only expecting to stay with us for one year and, and actually he's turned around to say he would rather stay with us for GCSEs because he knows he's got a better chance of getting really good quality GCSEs in our smaller classes and, and with the academic English development that we've given him. Um, so he's shown real progression and he's looking to do very well um, in his GCSEs next year. Um, and uh, we we are a popular destination for, for Thai students. We have another um, two students who are signed up to start with us in April and another student who's signed up to us for September. So um, any further Thai students who, who apply, they won't be the only ones here, but they'll also be in a school where there's not too many um, so it's not going to hinder their English development, um, but they will also have a friendly face and a friendly language to be able to speak at, you know, in, in that context outside of class in their social time. And I think it's probably just the right balance for uh, the students that might be listening today um, if they wanted to start with us in September or the following year. Okay, James. So, I'm going to ask you, James, if you have any experience in Thai and what you've learned from the experience of James, 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 you can go to top school. There are some kids who are from the middle school. There are some kids who are from the middle school. ตัดสินใจเรียนต่อที่นี่เพราะว่ารู้สึกว่ามีพัฒนาการที่รวดเร็วมากนะครับก็คิดว่าการอยู่ในโรงเรียนเล็กๆมีการประคบประงมตรงนี้เขาสุดท้ายเขาก็เลยตัดสินใจที่เรียนที่ Kings International College ต่อจนจบจนจะจบปีเยสเอ็ดเลยนะครับแล้วก็ในอนาคตเนี่ยก็ในเซปเทมเบอร์นี้ก็มีเด็กไทยอยู่ประมาณ 3-4 คนนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยก็ถือว่าเป็นจํานวนที่ไม่มากไม่น้อยจนเกินไปเพราะนั้นก็จะเป็น Environment ที่ดีสําหรับน้องๆนะว่าอุ่นใจไม่มีเด็กไทยนะแต่ก็ไม่มากจนเกินไปนะครับเจมส์ฟู Would you like to leave anything else before we leave it? I think I think I've probably um, given all the information that I can today. If, unless there's any specific questions, uh, I think the question have all gone. So everything is complete right now. So James, thank you so much for your presenting today, and hope uh, to get in touch and hope to send you more students in the future. Fantastic. Well, it's been my pleasure, um, and good luck to everyone who's been listening to this. And please feel free to get in contact if they do have any questions. All right, James. Thank you. Have a nice thank day. You. Cheers. Bye. Bye. สำหรับในวันพฤหัสนี้นะครับอีก2วันเนาะเราจะมีการคุยกับอีกหนึ่งโรงเรียนนะครับก็คือโรงเรียนหญิงล้วนที่ชื่อ Art Coach School for Girls นะครับโรงเรียนนี้เป็นโรงเรียนที่นิยมสําหรับเด็กไทยหลายๆคนนะครับก็เป็นโรงเรียนที่มีมีกิจกรรมที่มีชื่อเสียงก็คือการขี่ม้านะครับแล้วก็ตัวเมืองตัวโรงเรียนเองก็อยู่ไม่ไกลจากเมืองเชอร์สบรีนะครับแล้วก็เราได้เกียรติรับเกียรติจากทาง Head Mistress เลยนะก็คือเป็นครูใหญ่เลยที่จะเข้ามาอธิบายในส่วนของตัวโรงเรียนนะครับแล้วก็มีคุณรวิวันพิดาวนะครับที่เป็นตัวแทนที่อยู่ในประเทศไทยเป็นคนไทยนะครับที่จะเข้ามาในการนําเสนอโรงเรียนนี้นะครับให้กับน้องๆที่สนใจที่จะไปเรียนต่อหญิงล้วนในประเทศอังกฤษกันนะครับที่สําคัญมีทุนด้วยนะครับก็ถ้าใครสนใจพลาดไม่ได้นะครับเราจะเริ่มกันตอนเวลา5้าโมงครึ่งนะครับในวันพฤหัสที่จะถึงนี้นะครับสําหรับวันนี้ขอบคุณมากครับที่ติดตามชมขอลาไปก่อนนะครับสวัสดีครับ